in the 21st century require some very special skills. Critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and creativity. How can your child learn these important skills? We think that it's important to use project-based learning as a method by which your child can be prepared for 21st century careers. So what is project-based learning? It actually is a methodology whereby a child picks a topic that they are interested in. It is not a topic that the teacher picks or a parent picks, but what is it that the child is interested in? Maybe it is about dance. It could be about sports. It could even be about the environment. Whatever that topic is, the child wants to learn about it. And that's the important first step. One of the great things about project-based learning is kids learn about mathematics along the way. They have to collect data and they have to analyze that data, often developing graphs and charts to explain whether their experiment has succeeded or failed. So how can we teach them to learn to be a scientist or engineer through something that they're interested in? Very simply, the child can take the topic they're interested in, for instance, the environment, and they can do a project where they use the scientific method or the engineering process to learn about the subject they're interested in and maybe solve a problem that they think is important to their world. Here is a very good example of how project-based learning is used in a science fair project. These students are concerned about the environment in their city and they want to make sure that wastewater that goes back to their river is clean and safe for the future, for the fish, for the wildlife, and for human beings. Now, how are they going to tackle that as young scientists and engineers? First, they're going to set up objectives. In this case, their objectives include looking for a low-cost way to improve wastewater treatment. Once they decided what they were trying to achieve, they had to come up with materials and methods that allowed them to study the problem. To do this, they talked to their teachers, their parents, interested and talented scientists or engineers. Maybe they went online and used social media, Google, and other resources. Once a child has gathered data, that child can reach conclusions. And those conclusions are drawn from the research that they have done and the data that they have gathered. The conclusions are their own. The final element of project-based learning is that the child presents their results and talks about their conclusions to an audience. That audience can be to a judge, to a teacher, to their classroom, or in this case, at a science fair, where they get to share their knowledge, their excitement about their project, their thrill of discovery. One of the really exciting things about project-based learning is you get to journal. That means you get to put together a binder, and it might include your notes, it might include articles that you found in the newspaper or downloaded from the internet, it might include pictures, it might include all of your data, and you really get an opportunity to have a history of what it's like to be a scientist or engineer. If you want to learn more about project-based learning, a good place to go is to sciencebuddies.org. There are hundreds of projects that you can look at that might fit your passion. You'll be able to find a project that fits your age and your interests. Learning those 21st century skills can be fun when you use your head, your hands, and your heart, because then you'll be taking something you love and becoming a scientist or engineer through project-based learning.